Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Transmission, transmission of Functions Lesson 4, Horizontal Stretching and Compression Homework Review Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1, please uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, we could talk about how to transform our horizontally stretched or compressed functions from associated from one coordinate to another. So an arch is to be constructed, so its shape follows a curve. Y is equal to negative one-half x squared plus 10x, where x measures the horizontal distance along the ground, and y measures the vertical height of the arch above the ground, both in units of feet. The general graph of this arch is shown below. <clears throat> Based on this equation, what is the height of the arch at the turning point? Show the work that leads to your answer. Well, what we want to do is probably going to use our axis symmetry. And so our axis symmetry formula it requires us to find out our a value, which is neg one half, our b value, which in this case is going to be 10. And by the way, c is equal to zero because there's no c value there. And so our axis symmetry will be x is equal to negative b over 2a. So we have negative 10 over 2 times negative 1 half. Well, that would mean in this case that uh, we would have neg 10 over neg 1, which is just positive 10. So at, in this case, x value of 10 will reach the highest value. Now to find the y value, that would give us the, uh, the highest point, or really the turning point in this case, because we're looking for the matching y. So y is equal to negative 1 half of 10 squared plus 10 times 10. Well, 10 squared is 100 times negative 1 half is negative 50. So negative 50 plus 100 is 50, so 50 feet. So the turning point, or the vertex, is going to be 10 comma 50. And that's how we find our first part of this question. We continue though. If a second arch is created to have the same height but only half the width, determine an equation for this arch based on our work in this lesson. So if a second arch is created that has the same height but only half the width, well, to have, to have half the width, we're having a compression. So we're going to compress the compress this by a factor by a factor of two, all right. And for this to happen, what we want to do is, uh, well, if f of we call this, we call this f of x. If f of x was equal to negative one half x squared plus ten x, to half the width, we need f of two x. And then for 2x means we're going to replace, we're going to replace in this case all the x values of 2x, right? And so now one way to look at this is I can, you know, I can factor out everything. But so the idea is that replace with 2x, we're going to have here negative one half times 2x squared plus 10 times 2x. Now we'll work this out. And we would get, in this case, y is equal to, now, 2x times 2x is 4x squared times neg 1 half would be neg 2x. Because 1 half times 4, neg 1 half times 4 is neg 2x, uh, 2x squared. And this would be plus 20x. Okay. And that's what we do, because we, in this case, we're replacing x with 2x. That's how we compress our function here. Part C says choosing an appropriate graphing window based on A, graph the second arch on the axes above. Label your graphing window, use your calculator to determine the new turning points, and label both points on the, on the graphs. So we're definitely going to need our graphing calculator for this. So our graphing calculator, we're going to type in our first equation. So that would be negative one half, one half x squared plus 10x. 
right? And if we try to graph this on a regular on a regular window, or zoom six, if you will, we'd find that we don't get everything here. Uh, what we will see in the arch in this case is that we saw that the uh, height, the max height was 50. So let's change the window a little bit. Our x min is zero. Now our, our we hit our, uh, our maximum height at x equals 10, which means in this case, uh, because no, uh, no, no, so c value, it looks like the, the max x value might be 20 because it takes 10 to hit the max height and then 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 10 more to hit the to come back down so we'll do in this case max height of 20. now the min height will set for zero and we know the max height of this graph is going to be 50 because that's what we calculated here now let's graph this okay and notice we have the arch here all right now the second arch we have as I believe in this case it was negative 2x squared negative 2x squared and we want it to be I believe it was plus uh, plus 20x because we do is replace all the x with 2x okay and we'll see how this graph looks like here Definitely looks like it's half the width because it looks like in this case, the normal width of the graph was 20. It looks like a, the width of a graph is 10 with the same height. So it looks like it worked out pretty well. So it says here, choose appropriate graphing window uh, uh, on A. So a graphing window for A, for A, a graphing window. was x min 0, x max 20, y min 0, and y max 50. All right, so that was our graphing window for A. Now, it says here, label your graphing window, all right, and using your calculator, determine the new turning point and label both points on the graph. So we're going to sketch our graph here. Okay, so uh, we're eventually going to kind of sketch it on onto our, our top here. Though, so now going back to the calculator, we're going to now try to find the new new vertex. Now we kind of know where it might be, all right, because it kind of looks like it, the height here is fifty, and halfway it might be five comma five comma fifty. But we'll we'll take a look. We have second calc, which is what the allows us to uh, second trace was calculated, and we have something called the maximum, which we're looking for. Okay, not for this graph. Oops, well, I got changed around. Okay, so instead, uh, let's do this here. Let me just do, let me change this here, second calc. All right, and now actually wanna, let me just quit this and go back to the graph here. All right, so I wanna, Go to I know and we know in this case what the, what the vertex is. Well, we find the, we'll find the vertex here. Okay, so so we'll do that because I want to get to the other graph. No, but that's okay. So we'll do a second calc here and find the uh, find the, the vertex. Oh, it's calc intersect. Oh, I did run the wrong one. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. It's choice four maximum. I should have just stuck with it before. All right, so we hit the left bound. We we'll try to find top point here. We we kind of know what it's supposed to be, but just to make sure, because the calculator is you know our our friend to help us out. Left bound of the highest point, enter. Right bound of the highest point, enter. And we we'll find the highest point between those two dotted lines, and we get yep, this should be about 10, 10 comma fifty. Right, so that's when you kind of knew that, right? All right, so now to our second graph, which is in this case the y two. Let's find this here, second calc. Again, we're looking for maximum. Uh, why is it on Y1? should be in this case. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to uh, a little bit to the left here to highest point. Enter. A little bit to the right to highest point. Enter. And we'll see in this case, it looks like 5 comma 50, which we kind of predicted. Because in this case, we won't, if we were to we were to, to compress by a factor of 2, we're going to, in this case, um, multiply the x value of the coordinate of the, of the vertex 
by one half. And so they're one half, one half of a, uh, one half of ten. One half, one half of ten is five, all right? So back to this point here. Okay, use a calculator to a new frame point and label the points on the graph. Okay, so, so here we go. All right, we're going to kind of, I'm going to sketch the graph here. What would the graph look like? This new one. So this would be ten. This is twenty. This is this highest point here is fifty. Okay. And so now the other graph that we found will go kind of like this. The first vertex here we found to be at 10, 50. And the second vertex we found was at 5, 50. Okay? And there you go. All right, everybody? And so yeah, so this is this is gonna be what the I mean it's not really a good looking graph, but this is how we what well, we would do this now. We could have calculated this as well too, just by transforming the coordinate here. And then if you remember, we said here with x comma y, because we're gonna we're going to compress by a factor of two, which really is gonna be multiplying multiplying the function by 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 multiply x divided by two, this becomes now one half x comma y. And our vertex originally was going to be, was, was supposed to be for the first graph was 10 comma 50, which leads us to, in this case, one half of 10 is five comma 50. So we see how this is our new vertex. Okay, everyone, let me just put this as a full page here. <clears throat> and this is our question number four. And, you know, so just to kind of get a sketch of things as well. All right. Hope this was helpful. All right, everybody. This is going to be the end of our Algebra 2 Transmission Functions Lesson Number 4, Horizontal Stretching Compression Hole Review, Part 2. And if you found this helpful, please give a like. If you have any questions uh, or comments, leave it in the comment section below. We would love to hear and answer any questions you still have about how we figure this out, uh, how you get to calculate our work. I had a little trouble myself. Um, and, of course, you know, uh, that says label your graph window. Okay, yeah. So, so yeah. You know, in this case, just you know, the, what how we got the everything fit in there. So, all right. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys next video. All right. Take care, everybody. All right. Be safe.